Breaking news, breaking news, everybody. Hold on. Here on the Certified Buckets Podcast, you have to understand one thing. Yesterday's price <laughs> is not today's price. Let's fire up the Certified Hotline and bring in our new special guest, the one and only Fat Joe, Mr. Leanback himself. How you doing, sir? I'm great, my brother, man. It's all love, man. Happy to be here, my brother. Now, obviously, this is a basketball podcast. You know, we kind of got to get into it. We're watching We're in the first round of the playoffs. You know, we, we're seeing the Knicks. Well, not the Knicks, excuse me. We're seeing the Nets <laughs> and the Celtics. So side. disrespectful. <laughs> first of all, hey, first know, of all, first of all, apologies, don't come at my apologies, like that. apologies. No, you feel me? It was, it was a it slip was. of the tongue. You feel me? It was a hundred percent. I know it shot the fire. Oh, you man. so foul for that. Oh, Leave my next alone. It, it was an accident, y'all. But look, look let, let's talk. Let's actually talk about playoff teams, right? What, right. what have you yeah. make? What are you making about this first round? What do you like so far? Has anything caught your for eye? Me, I've yeah. always said this season that, especially when Philly got James Harden, he was the perfect fit. I believe the 76ers will win the championship. Oh, my and uh, and it's not changing. And um, that boy Joel Embiid is letting you know this ain't no more process. This is the time. All right. <laughs> and, and so, if you asking me to go right there, that's what I mean. They they and then look at the kid. Uh, Maxie is, ste- is stepping up crazy. Maxie. Right. I mean, listen. If 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 the second and third. The, if the fourth and fifth guy on the bench keeps scoring 30 a game, right. you're in trouble, boy. You're in trouble. Yeah. So if, if you're pulling for the Sixers, that leads me to believe that you don't really believe in these nets like that. You know, you, you're not, you're not, I'm not a net fan to begin with. Talk I know. Talk, Joe. But, but we're talking about I'm a Knicks fan. And if you're a real Knicks fan, you this always, ain't no, you know, right. I go for the Yankees and then the Mets is playing. That, it ain't, that's not how it works. And so when my high blood pressure go up because I'm at the Knicks game <laughs> and they up 20 points and they lose, I'm supposed to go for the team. They, nah, I don't do that. Right. And Listen. so the Nets, I'm not a fan. Mm. I'm a net hater. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> But when we talk about, you know, superstars, World Wide West, Alan Houston, Julius Randle, they were at game one of the Utah Jazz Dallas Mavericks. And some say some tampering might have been going down. Some recruiting might have been happening. What are your thoughts on Donovan Mitchell and NYC? Ask the feds. <laughs> it was publicized. You know, there were you photos know, of you know, it. That's I how the commentators be on live. I, oh, I, I didn't reveal <laughs> anything. Uh, <laughs> Spider, my man, I hang out with Spider. Mm. He's never told him? me he wants to be in the Knicks. So this would be news to me. Ooh. I don't want to break nobody's heart, but this would be news to me because I literally hang out with Donovan Mitchell. And he has never once told me, no, <laughs> I want to be a Nick. <laughs> No, oh, wow. I, I see the heartbreak in Ashley's eyes. <laughs> I see it. Pain. That no, means I y'all getting Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson. The man ain't never tell Joe Crack, the number one Knicks fan, yo, I want to come to the Knicks. I've heard mm. other players whisper that in my ear, and they all been BS. So, <laughs> uh, what's my man? Rich Paul told me that LeBron James was coming to the Knicks mm. before he went to the Lakers. Mm. Told me this. He was like, yo, coming to the Knicks. He told me that about, uh, I think it was KD. He mm. was like, one, one million percent is coming. And, and they ain't come true. I had a lot of players tell me over the years they come to the Knicks and they never came. Um, there's definitely, a, see, I like pressure. Mm. I like pressure. I'm one of those guys that when my back is to the wall, I show up. When somebody threatens me, or comes at me, I come out. That, mm. that That's me. Yeah. But there has to be some truth to uh, people not wanting that media smoke. They don't want to be in New York City in the mess. They want to come visit, drop 60 on us, and let's <laughs> fly up the garden. But they do not want to be here yeah. trying to do this on a regular basis. 
Right. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. So to me, uh, alleviating the pressure is what KD and Kyrie did. Nobody ever won in Brooklyn. Nobody's new. So they don't really get that same type of pressure of like, yo, you primetime MSG. So if, if the Nets and the Knicks play at the Rucker, which a lot of fans want, are you going to coach instead of Tibbs? <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all the truth. If they let me coach the Knicks and be an assistant coach on the Knicks, we would definitely win 20 more games. Ooh. Oh, shit. There it is. The there different it is. Type of, it's, it's, it's like, it's the lion in my eyes. It's a lion. Like, <laughs> it's like, I'm letting my crew know, like, yo, we got to go down. Like, right. like the, you know, um, we lost about a good five to ten games that we were up 20-something points this year. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's unacceptable, bro. Right. Like, yeah. I was actually, I'm actually a people's person. So you might, trust me, I'm too much of a people's person. So they come <laughs> up all over, yo, Joe, let me take a bitch in your job. I'm cool with everybody. That last game against the Nets that we was up 20 and we lost, I was the most rudest, (laughs) terrible guy in the world. I walked out of there and they was like, yo, Joe, they had autographs. I was like, yo, leave me alone. And then two dudes walked by. One guy had a Brooklyn Nets jersey. And he was like, oh, I know he ain't going to talk. I said, that's right. (laughs) <laughs> Joe, like, but yo, you you sick. you know Leon Rose, you know World Wide West. Make it happen. Make make an assistant coach position for you happen. Bring that to hey, us next, next season. West is my neighbor. He looks across the street. His daughter and my daughter hang out every day. Let's oh, do snap. it. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. What's a great guy? I'll, I'll say something on his basketball. I had caught COVID in December. West was coming to my door, ringing the bell, dropping off food. Oh, that's fire. No, no, he's a beautiful, beautiful guy. Hey, listen, they put they put a good team together. They did. I just don't know why we didn't go further because I love the youth. I love our team. Um, do we need one? We need a certified bucket. Mm. Mm. Is 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 the coach the problem? You see some fans calling for tips to get up out of here. Where do you stand on that? No, I don't think they need to get them up out of here. They, that's the problem. That's why guys don't want to come play or coach for the mm-hmm. Knicks. Because right. these guys are quick to throw the bag on their face. Right. And bad, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. They'll embarrass you quick. They'll throw <laughs> you know. But I do believe that Tibbs, I hung out with Tibbs. Mm. Right, and that good game that we we won in Miami, I, I hung out with six in the morning. Mm. Me and West. Oh yeah, yo, he was outside. Oh, he, he was outside. Tibbs was outside. outside. Oh no, nah. I tried outside, to take outside. him to the strip club. He wasn't jacking that. <laughs> I tried to take him to booby trap. He wasn't jacking that. Oh no. Nah. I was like, yo, Tibbs. He said, "What's in there?" I said, "The devil, man." <laughs> it's about five, six in the morning. I said, "Yo, oh. he said, he said, but what's in that strip?" I said. The devil. <laughs> West, oh no, we got we going to a hotel. We get that. Oh, we man. Going with you.